Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a report based on a query or a sub form. So just to recap where we're at with this database, we have two tables, a table of tasks, so like project tasks with resource allocations and a table of resources, four people and three tasks. We've created one query which basically lists the tasks and some calculations to decide how many hours or work out how many hours are required and if anybody's over allocated which this person is and Jones so she's only available for four and she's got four hours there's eight hours on the task she's only got four hours so there's four hours overdue now I want to create a report based on this information so in the forms that we created, we, cre we created a resource form. So you're going through each resource and seeing what tasks are on. And we created a task one, looking at the other way around. On the task one, we did some conditional formatting that coloured up whether their status was OK or not. So the next one isn't. Now what I want to do is run a report, create a report on that. So if I click on this one and let's create a report using the wizard. Now I'm just going to push all the fields across, follow it through. I want to group by task name, so task A, B or C. Next. Now I do want some summary options. So I'm just going to tick all these sums and I want that as a percentage of the total as well. Click OK. Next, landscape, that is ticked, but in my experience, it never does it anyhow. Things will be truncated and I will have to fix it. And then I'm going to put RPT in front of that. And finish. So the report's generated and you can see things are truncated quite badly. But there we go, we've got task A and then the hours on that and task B who's on it and the hours and the scores on the doors in terms of summary and then task C. Now if I go into design on this and just see if I can tidy this up a little bit. So first of all, I don't need that text string there. Now we've got this, this is truncated so I need to make this a little wider and no doubt it'll be more than the pages. I tend to do um, reports manually which I probably will do. So now that's sorted that out, so we're okay there. But the, the labels at the top are all over the place. So I need to resort out these. So we've got work, av work availability. So let's see if I can get just work in there. Availability. In fact, I better just go for available, see if I can get that. Then we've got raw resource availability. Get rid of that and then let's have a look. Still truncated, let's move these across a little bit. So you tend to spend more time messing about with these than you would if you just did it yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this form manually and see what I get, how I get it. Because then I can sort of adjust things as I'm going. Let's have a look at that. Nearly, nearly got it right. But you see what you have to do and then the same same thing over there so even though that tick is on in the wizard it never actually does it exactly how you want it so let's recreate this form manually so if i i will save this one let's just save it and i'm going to create a report in design view so what you have to do in design view is go into properties and get it to look at a particular not a form this time, look, I can only pick a query, but it's, a, it's the query that is the sub form. So that's the query. And then if I go back to the field list, I have all the fields. Now I do want to do some grouping. So if I click on group and sort and then add a group. So I want to group it all by task name. So now task name header. So I'll put the task name in there. And then just push that over. And I'm going to make that bold and red and bigger so it stands out. Just make the box a little bit bigger. 
and then push that up a little bit so there's a bit of a space. So if I go and have a look at that, so you look at things as you go in, so that's what it's going to look like. Back into design. Now, you've got the option of start date, end date, work required, and all this sort of stuff now. So let's just put some of these in there. So I've got start date, so I'll just sit it there. I don't need the label. If you do need the label, you can you can do the labels if you want. So start date, followed by end date. Don't need the label for this. And then just have a quick look. Keep looking what it looks like. Start end. Task A, work required. Work required. Let's go underneath. And full name. So that's the resource name. So Let's put that at the end there. Full name. So just shove that to the end. You can play around with this until you get exactly how you want it. Steve Saxton. Design view. So I probably do need the labels for this actually. So I'll just put that um, work required back in again. And this time I'll move the label. on top like that and then just move them together just sit them like so work required work available same thing move the label on top and move them as a pair to that next block and then resource availability move the label on top like so it to there and the last one is allocation status drop it there the report becomes wider and then you push that across to where you want it to be now I can highlight things like this and use the arrange features stacked or tabular but I don't want to do that just yet let's have a quick look view that's okay, there's a massive gap here, but I need that for formulas that I'm going to do. So I've got all my fields, and now what I need is a, there's the header, task name header. I need the task name footer. So on the here, you've got task name on top, more. I could go for totals, but I want to do it manually. So with, without a footer, with a footer with a footer section so in here so if i push this up a little bit i'm going to do some calculations so i'm not going to do every single one that i had before but you need to use this a b option in the controls area click on a b and just draw it draw a box so what i want to do is sum work required so equals sum open a normal bracket and then you have to refer to a field with square brackets Work required, close the sum, have a look, 56, so that one is 56, that one is 16, 18 and 8 and 8, 16, that one is 128, so that at the moment is the same as that, so that's work required, so if I just put a title in there, total work required, And then just move that on top. Click on it and just get this little square to move that on top. And then let's just push this work required. Oops. No, don't do that. Cut that back into this. Total work required. That'll do there. Now what I need to do is total work availability and total work resource availability and allocation status. So basically you're just repeating the process for all of those. So if I copy this and paste it, I can just, instead of work required, I can change that to work avail availability. And then paste it again. And this is going to be resource availability. And 
and then last one just move it into this other space this is going to be allocation status let's have a quick look so work required so we've got the sums at the bottom here total work so go for this one because there's two minus ten so six four so that's all working but now I need to make this a bit more distinctive so if I just grab these four just move them over this side a little bit don't want them up there they need to stay in the footer area get rid of this but I'm just going to format them to make them bold and red let's have a look at that total work required okay so I need to change the labels on each of these because it says the same for each one so work required this is total resource availability so I'll just change these and then just type it in so I've changed all of those let's have a quick look Okay, work required, work availability, total state. So that's that's good. Everything's working all right. So now what I want to do is get rid of all these boxes and see what that looks like. So let's just go back into there. Now, the way to do that is you need to go into the um, property sheet and get onto or highlight what you want to do. So if I highlight all of these, so what we need to do is we need to select border style and set that to transparent and just have a quick look so we got rid of all of them view so let's get rid of those boxes now these boxes are still on and that's still on I quite like that one being on to be honest if I go back into design we can just highlight these and go for border style again transparent you don't have to do this it's just personal preference and if you don't like it you can just put it back on so that's okay task A task B and then we've got all things sorted down there now if you want to report header and footer you can do that if you go back into design where it says page header you can just right click there and tick report header and footer on you'll get a report header and in the report footer if you copy these and just paste them in there copy and then paste them into the report footer that will give you the summary of the whole lot so if I just pull these across to the same side as the other ones, select them all together actually. Just make myself get rid of this for now. Highlight them, move them over. And then just have a quick look at what that does. So at the very bottom, you've, it's adding everything up, 230, so these are a lot bigger numbers. But obviously there's a, no distinction between the end of task C and that. So we probably need to do something to do that. So if I move these down a little bit so it gives me a space. You've got a space there now. And you can maybe put a line across if you want. And you can mess about with the line thickness just to distinguish this line from the rest of it, so have a look what that looks like it's alright, that does the job separates that off, or you could put a label and do whatever you want so the page footer um, is where you put the page numbers so if I go onto there and you look at the top there, you've got page numbers it'll just put that in for you, however you want it um, let's put it up there, don't want it up there need it in the bottom bit and then I want that on the right or maybe in the center something like that you've also got the logo and date time if you click into the relevant places where you want this date time that one put it up there and logo you can put up there as well uh, page header you can do the, all those sorts of things where you've got different bit information on the page ever just titles project name at the top whatever you want and then this becomes 
an active report and will reflect any changes you make or any additions you make in terms of adding tasks on they will be appearing in this report so hopefully this little video basically doing reports showing you the wizard and then showing it how to do it yourself has been of use for you thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one